Yeah, of course you're not happy. I mean, uh, on a day where, of course, we are already lacking pace compared to McLaren, you try and, of course, hope that, uh, yeah, we do the right things with the strategy, which today was not the case. The first one, to be undercut, it was not ideal, but maybe, you know, you get caught out, okay. Is Verstappen parting ways from Red Bull? Despite starting the 2024 season super strong, Red Bull Racing has now gone six races without a single win. Verstappen, their star driver, is also getting angry as the car is struggling to deliver. Let's dive into it all. Red Bull Racing began in 2024 season in dominant form, winning seven out of the first 10 races. However, this early success has been followed by a string of disappointing results. The team's most shocking failure came at the Italian Grand Prix in Monza, where they could only manage a sixth place finish for Verstappen and an eighth place for Sergio Perez. These results were a far cry from the dominance they displayed earlier in the season and have sparked widespread concern within the team. Monza is a circuit known for its high speed race and low downforce requirements, typically a strength for Red Bull's aerodynamic design. Yet this year, the team struggled mightily, with both drivers reporting significant balance issues. Verstappen even referred to the RB20 as a monster that was nearly undrivable. These balance problems have persisted throughout the season, leading to a dramatic drop in performance as well. While all of these were happening, Verstappen and his engineers made a critical discovery during the Monza weekend. According to Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko, Verstappen had already identified a key weakness in the car setup. Marko had been reported to state that Max recognized on Saturday where the weakness of the car is. He also added that together with the engineers, a decision has been made on how to improve the car and make it competitive again. Seems promising, right? Even though this is in fact good news, it also shows the complexity of the problem. Identifying the issue is one thing, resolving it in time to take advantage of the current season itself is another. As Marco pointed out, if Red Bull had known the exact cause of their struggle earlier, they wouldn't be in their current problem. Don't you think so? Verstappen's frustration boiled over during the Italian Grand Prix, where he issued a sharp wake-up call to the team over the radio as he battled with McLaren's Lando Norris. Verstappen was forced to switch to a less aggressive battery setting, which left him vulnerable on the track. The tensions at Red Bull Racing have also been escalating, with Max Verstappen recently expressing his frustration publicly. In an interview with Popular Media, Verstappen also recounted an incident that highlighted the growing problems within the team. During a race, while battling with Lando Norris, Verstappen found himself in a situation where his battery was nearly depleted. He had to switch to a different power setting and relied to his team to inform him when he could revert to a quicker setting. However, the communication from the pit wall was not as proactive as Verstappen expected. Yikes, that has to hurt, right? Verstappen's comment on the media were simply nothing but holding back. He was screaming on the radio, you guys have all the data the entire time. You can exactly see when I can make those steps. Verstappen further voiced his frustration, stating that he shouldn't have to inquire about when he could revert to the previous setting. Even though they might have been in an uncompetitive position during the race, he emphasized that the team still needed to remain vigilant and attentive. If the team couldn't maintain this level of awareness, his presence on the track would be simply unnecessary. He has a point though. This outburst from Verstappen is not simply off the moment, but shows the deeper issues within the Red Bull team. The Dutch driver, known for his high standards and competitive spirit, is clearly dissatisfied with the level of communication and decision making within the team. His remarks also suggest a lack of confidence in the team's ability to manage the crucial details that can significantly impact a race. But does it end there? No. Red Bull's RB20 car had been plagued with multiple technical challenges. One of the most significant issues is the car's balance, which both Verstappen and his team Sergio Perez have described as unpredictable and inconsistent. The drivers have to struggle with the lack of connection between the front and rear of the car, making it difficult to push the vehicle to its limits. This balance issue has persisted throughout the season, leading to underperformance in several races. Let's break it down in a simpler way. So, Red Bull's got this big headache, right? They're trying to make their car faster, but they are running into issues after issues. When they test up in their wind tunnel, that's this big machine they can use to see how air moves around the car. The results they're getting don't mesh up with what's actually happening on a racetrack. Imagine practicing dancing in a bedroom mirror and looking great, but once in a club, suddenly all of these moves come off. These things are something like that. This exact mismatch is causing all sorts of problems. The team's starting to doubt their own tools and methods, which is never a good thing in F1. Red Bull have been trying all sorts of things to fix this. Every race weekend, they're playing with their car's aerodynamic and have been playing around with different floor designs too. In all of these dramas, one word that shouts out is nothing but desperation as well. These kinds of problems can really set a team back. While other teams are moving forward and finding speed, Red Bull's stuck trying to figure out why their wind tunnel is telling them one thing and the track is telling them another. 
It's a real puzzle, and until they solve it, they're going to struggle to catch up with their rivals. The situation at Red Bull has been further complicated by the reduced involvement of Adrian Newey, their renowned technical director. Newey, who has been instrumental in the team's success over the years, stepped back from his full-time role earlier in 2024. While team principal Christian Horner has attempted to downplay the impact of Newey's absence, it's evident that his reduced input has left a significant void in the team's technical leadership. The departure of other key figures, such as Rob Marshall, has also weakened the team's ability to address the car's issues effectively. This brain drain at Red Bull is becoming increasingly apparent as they struggle to find solutions in their technical challenges. A team is the people it has, so it has to affect, right? With Red Bull's performance deteriorating, their championship hopes are now under serious threat. Verstappen's lead and the driver's standing has been shrinking, and McLaren's Lando Norris is emerging as a formidable challenger. As of the Italian Grand Prix, Verstappen's lead had been reduced from 70 to 62 points, and Red Bull's once commanding position in the Constructors' Championship is also at risk. Let's not even get into the Paris problem for now. Verstappen's also not helping, as he has been voicing his frustration more and more lately. And one can't blame him. He's gunning for his third world championship in a row. And these car issues are really worrying for him as a driver. Verstappen recently said, We just need to find out which part made the car worse. Now that might sound simple, but in the world of F1, it's literally trying to find a needle in a haystack. The car's got thousands of parts, and they all work together in a super complex way. How does one find the exact solution right? As Verstappen's frustration grows, so too does the possibility of a rift between him and Red Bull. While it is unlikely that Verstappen would leave the team mid-season, the tensions that are building could have long-term consequences. Verstappen has made it clear that he expects the team to deliver a competitive car, and if Red Bull fails to meet his expectations, their relationship could become strained. Recently, Total Wolf was also seen commenting in the media that he has been going around with a contract for Max always in his pocket. With Lewis Hamilton gone, the strong Mercedes will only benefit from a driver like Max. This potential split is worsened by the fact that Red Bull does not have a quick fix for their problems anytime now. Terrace has admitted that the team is focused on making the best of what they currently have, rather than expecting a sudden turnaround in a performance. What this suggests is that Red Bull's issues may not be resolved in time to make Verstappen's championship hope easily, which could lead to a possible showdown between the driver and the team. Despite the challenges, there is still hope for Red Bull to recover. The team needs to address the balance issues that have plagued the RB20 and find a way to make a car more predictable and consistent. This may require significant changes to the car's design and setup, as well as a reassessment for the team's development strategy. But can they change it mid-season? This is the main question. Simply put, the upcoming race will be crucial for Red Bull's championship ambitions. The team has a short window of opportunity to implement changes before the season reaches its critical stages. If Red Bull can make the necessary improvements, they may still be able to challenge for both the driver's and constructor's title. However, if the current problem persists, they risk losing not only the championships, but also the trust and loyalty of their star driver. What do you think of this case? What do you think will happen in the near future? Do drop your views in the comment section below, and we'll meet again in the next video.